Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I have a meeting that will take place in about an hour and 15 minutes. However, before I get ready for that, I'll take 30 minutes to lie down. Uh, before I get ready for that meeting, I wanted to take the time because I'm tired. Mother All right. I just want to take some time and bring something to y'all's attention. I just did a video. In that video, I used a different software. But see, here's the problem with using this software. Originally, it said 18 minutes. When you use these other softwares, they have to do this whole rendishing, rendishing of the video. They have to render it to a format to what you can watch on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I use ZDSoft because ZDSoft does it almost instantaneously. It takes about five seconds after you hit stop for the thing to pop up and you name the video and put it up. But none of these other softwares, I haven't found any other software. Now this software is okay. I like the, I like it. The only problem is this long rendition time. That That's too much. Now in there I'm talking about uh, this company called Quality Loan Home Servicing. Quality Home Loan Servicing Corporation. That piece, of, uh, that piece of stuff corporation, ladies and gentlemen, they have been caught several times representing lenders who never asked them to represent them. Now, I heard about this last week, and it just so happens I said that's the same company as though one of our customers. I said, however, we've already asked for proof of assignment. They claimed they were the servicer. Ladies and gentlemen, after they claimed they were the servicer, then they claimed that we're not the servicer, we're the trustee. The trustee? Wait a minute. You 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 were the servicer, but not you're not the servicer, you're the trustee. Who's the lender? Uh first blah blah blah. Really? Did you that they're the servicer? So we called the company who claimed they were the servicers. The ones he'd been dealing with before he got notice from Quality Loan Home, Quality Home Loan Servicing Corp. And showing up, they said, we don't know who those people are. Where are they located? No, we don't know them. Not kidding. I said, well, they sure are panning themselves off as being the services for this loan. Ladies and gentlemen, they did, they did their research wrong. The attorneys who looked for the loan, they didn't do the right research. They put the lender as the servicer, then they put the servicer as non-existent, they made themselves the servicer, and now that we're questioning that they make themselves the trustee. Ooh-wee! That's called fraudulent activities. That's called malfeasance. And I'll be bringing it up again. Uh, they were due to foreclose on this guy's property next week. What the... Is what I said. Oh no, y'all not doing that. Uh -uh, y'all, we can't have two services on this loan. Y'all need to prove who y'all is. We don't know who you people are. You people are just telling us you're this and you're that. We're getting these people telling us they're the services. Now they're telling us they're the trustees. Make up your minds, people. Either you got a right to foreclose or you don't. Now we're saying, just real simple. The trust doesn't exist. The trust has been satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we're saying. Well, because we've challenged it, uh, not because it wasn't just that simple, because <laughs> some of you think it's going to be that simple for you. No, it wasn't. This was paperwork that I put, put together for him, and we put it in. When he did that, ladies and gentlemen, they have postponed the sale as of today. Because, as I told them, we turned the paperwork in to the so-called trustee, whose job it was to notify you. They're the trustee. They're the agent. Their job is to notify the principal. Notice the agent is notice the principal. Just that simple. That's all I told him. She tried to cover over the comment, but I'm, no, 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 no. You don't understand. They're representing themselves off as an agent for the lender. And we are communicating with them. You guys are allowing them to make this confusing. And now you're saying you don't know who it is. You're not going to report them to the Attorney General? Interesting, huh? All right. Now let's, shall we continue? 
ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are paying filing fees, I'm going to give you guys something you can do. Those of you who are facing foreclosure, it's um, it's only going to work for a little while. It's not going to continue to work for years, okay? Because they're going to get around it with a technicality. Pay attention. This is the 12th Judicial District Court, District of North New, Mex New Mexico, District of New Mexico. Now, this is what it says. Under the direction and supervision of the Supreme Court, the director of the administrative office of the court, administrative office of the court, this is on the state level, is in charge of supervising all matters relating to the administration of the courts. Among the duties related to the administration of the courts is to examine the fiscal records or matters. Manage the court finances and to ensure that there is adequate and equitable financing of the court. Ladies and gentlemen, that includes filing fees, copies, salaries, and so forth. All of the courts receive an annual budget. Because they receive an annual budget, your filing fees are included in the annual budget. There is no requirement for filing fees when it's already included in the budget. Y'all just have to know the law. Okay, just that simple. Sorry, I'm looking at Bruno Mars, and there was a song, I forgot the, the group that sang it. Stop breaking my heart. Anyway, he's doing a song that is the same melody as that song. Same exact melody. Stop breaking my heart. Anyway, all right, ladies and gentlemen, one of the principal purposes of establishing the unified court system was expressed by the legislature as follows. Placing, play attention, at the state level, and ultimate fiscal responsibility for the courts of the unified court system enumerated by this act, which significantly enhances their effective operation by enabling one legislative body to make decisions concerning the amount of monies to be appropriated based upon the comprehensive view of the relative needs of the various courts. Ladies and gentlemen, all the courts are done the same way, whether it be New York, California, whether it be federal court or state court doesn't matter. They're all done the same way. The purpose of this rule is to establish a district court of appeals budget commission with responsibility for developing and overseeing the administration of the district court budget in a manner that ensures equity and fairness in state funding among the five districts. Okay? This is save your tears for another day by Mr. Weekend playing in my background. Sorry, I stumbled on Mr. Weekend. I just downloaded, I saw his name. It was unique. So I downloaded it and started listening to some of the songs. I'm like, this is all right. And I'm playing and I don't know that he has already become a YouTube sensation and all that stuff. I'm just playing him because I like the music. Not all of it, okay? Not, not all, no, some of it is, man. Some of it I can't listen to, just the way it is. But for the most part, I don't know why I want to run away. That that stuff, it's say your tears. Or wearing somebody's face, you know, I, I ain't into everything. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't matter what court you go to. Now, what happens is I'm looking specifically for, hold on, I put district court. Watch this. Uh-huh. I, I was trying to figure out how to put it because, you see, one aspect of administration of district court. This is actually the words from a particular court that I took and I just changed some things. But now I know what to do. U.S. courts. Okay, that's what I needed to do. By putting U.S. courts instead of district courts, we can move forward. Because I was getting kind of tired of looking for things. And you guys got to do the same thing. The way case text works, you have to put in the way you believe the courts would say something. And that's how you will get to what you're looking for. Now, I'm not looking for this because this is not giving me what I want. Okay, because we're not just talking about the administration of the court. We're talking about their budget. Budgeting and funding policies and procedures for a trial court. The rule provide for the active direct participation of trial court judges and administrative officers in the creation and implementation. We don't care. We don't care about their rules. We're looking for the budget. And look at this. We don't get a lot on this at all for the district courts. Look at that. Okay. Give me one second. 
Let me put y'all on pause because I'm going to find it and then I'm going to be right back. Like I said, I'm tired. I got to save my tears for another day. That's what he told me. He said, save your tears. Like, mother, I ain't crying. No, that's just me being angry about what I'm about to do to you. Sit up here and talk about my mama like that. I'm sorry, hold on. As you can see, it still says 14 minutes. So even though I like the software, I like the crispiness of the software. It's crisp. It's easy to operate. It just, the populating takes too long. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to keep this video going much longer, but I do need to show y'all something. There is a reason for me doing this video. So the first thing we're going to do is the ABA. And then we're going to talk about a video that we're going to be doing in the future that I know that you guys are going to love. So I hope you stay tuned. Stay tuned. The federal judiciary requires sufficient funds to perform core functions assigned to it by the Constitution and Congress. These include adjudication of all cases filed in the federal court supervising defendants awaiting trial and criminals on post-conviction relief, providing representation for indigent defendants, securing jurors for jury trials, no trial by jury, jury trials is statutory, trial by jury is constitutional, and ensuring the safety of all who work security and enter the federal court facilities. These are vast responsibilities that generate a workload over which the judiciary has no control. In, 19, in 2019, over 438,000 cases were filed in the district court and the court of appeals for which they dismissed the majority of them. Were filed in bankruptcy court, approximately 237,000 persons were placed under pretrial or post conviction supervision, and 253,000 indigent criminal defendants were provided counsel under the Criminal Justice Act. Ladies and gentlemen, deficit reduction requires them to have a budget. Okay, just that simple. They are required to have a budget. So, just that simple. Y'all just need to understand. So it ain't no matter how much they were supposed to reduce, the fact that they reduced their budget doesn't mean they get to double tax you. So in the bankruptcy court, ladies and gentlemen, uh oh, I just shut it down. Exactly what I was supposed to have open. In the bankruptcy court, they'll say, well, bankruptcy court doesn't have a fee waiver. Uh, but the district court does have a fee waiver. Wait, hold on. The district court does have a fee waiver. Wait, 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 hold on. The district court does have a fee waiver. Hold on, let me show y'all something because y'all y'all, y'all don't know why. Civil cases recovered in the district court under this 28 USC and it is subsection of 1291 because a bankruptcy court is part of the district. Wait, hold on. Did you say that again? Because a bankruptcy court is part of the district. No, could you please say that one more time? Because the bankruptcy court is part of the district court. This statute applies to bankruptcy proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, district court has a fee waiver. So you just use the district court fee waiver for bankruptcy court. Duh! I know, I know, I know you didn't know. I know, I've been saying it for years, but nobody listens to me. Okay? The bankruptcy court is part of the district court. They don't have a fee waiver on their website. So you go to the district court website, use its fee waiver, file it in the bankruptcy court. Those of you who got foreclosures and they don't want to accept your file and say you want to judge, tell the the clerk, when they say, no, we can't file this, tell the clerk, I'm appealing your decision to a judge. Just that simple. You have the right to an appeal. I'm appealing your decision to a judge. Your decision is administrative. I'm appealing your administrative decision to a judge. And you bring this before the judge. Now, if you're in bankruptcy, that will automatically stay your foreclosure. And if the judge says, we ain't granting you no fee waiver, well, your foreclosure has been stayed. Fine. And you walk away. But finally, when you ain't got no other options, then you follow through with an appeal on these issues that I just pointed out. Just that simple. All right, that takes care of that. That's this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to see something. I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm not going to talk about it right now. We're going to talk about it, but we ain't going to talk about it right now. Somebody, 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 his name is Pastor on the way. He said, I need you to take a look at this. He didn't give me a reason. He just sent it to me, thought it'd be interesting. Said he sent it to his father, and his father stayed up all night because of it. For discharging of debts. Uh-oh. For discharging of debts. Wait, 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 wait. On the other hand, the conveyance of property upon trust to pay creditors, not parties to the transaction, 
have been very reasonably held to create a trust for the author of the deed, you, and not for the creditor. It's your trust, not theirs. Hold on now. Such an instrument, deed of trust, though in the form of a deed of trust, may have been intended to be an instrument, in effect, an agency. Oh, God, y'all can learn a lot from this. We'll talk about this very soon. Okay, and the video coming up soon. This video will be done, and I'll be putting them both up this afternoon. I just want y'all to stay tuned. That document, I want y'all to understand, we're going to be putting that document up online when I do the video. So you're just going to have to save your tears for another day and just wait for me. Okay, that's what he's talking about right now. Save your tears. Watch. Save your tears for another day. So y'all just got to save your tears. Okay, it's just that simple. All right, I got to go. I don't know why I want to run away. Take care, everybody. Here's to the love that we got.